I was excited to coach Ultimate Fighter. Ever since I've been on the show, I, I thought I'd be a good coach and thought I'd want to, want to do it. And uh, so when the opportunity came, you know, it was a little bittersweet, you know, having to coach against Alpha Male. I mean, it's not something I really wanted to do. But on the other hand, it was like I get to really show the truth. You know, I get to speak my mind and have a lot of coverage on what really went down and uh, show my true colors and uh, have Alpha Male show theirs. So, you know, it was a little wishy-washy, but I was stoked to do it. And obviously the end, end is me fighting for the title. So there's no, no questioning it. You know, I wasn't ever, like, friends with Garbrandt. We weren't really that close, you know. But guys like Justin Buckles, their head coach, he's always in my corner, Danny Castillo, guys like that, you know. You, it really kind of – you lose a lot of respect for, for what they're, how they're acting and the friendship you thought you had, you know. Even though the, the fighters are – have been here and done it already, you uh, – you know, they, they really want to pay attention. They really respect what you have to teach, and that's, that's awesome, you know. They're not coming in as know-it-alls. And so I, I found that to be, be awesome and uh, – I enjoy this process. It's a lot of work, a lot more work than I thought it would be, but it's because I, I think it's because I care so much. You know, I'm putting a lot into this. You said you, only you, Justin, maybe a couple other people know Cody. So tell us what you know. What, what, what I know about him or what like, I know about no, practice. What you said what happened. You said only the three of you know what happened. Oh, I mean, no, so everyone at Alpha Mother's training and practice knows what happened. I mean, we all know the truth. I mean, they can post a video of maybe whatever happened in a split second, but we all know how the majority of practices went down. and. Mm -hmm. You know, how, I, how I, I feel and I know that I'm the better fighter and that I was the one putting it on him the majority of the time. You know, like I said, everyone's got their days, but, you know, I'm, I'm by far the better fighter in that room. I think the best is just getting my belt back, you know. I mean, but that's, that's going to prove it, so absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a little added incentive a little bit, but there's always so much pressure. I mean, it's kind of like a generic answer. I feel like everyone always says it, but that is the, the biggest pressure is me being the best in the world, you know, and to be doing that. Cody's got the belt right now. I think with that fight, it was just Cody had a great night and Cruz did not look like himself. I think that's the worst I've seen Cruz fight. So, you know, it's always that question. Do you think, is it Cody the one that made him look that bad or is he just came out? You know, I mean, he manned up and said he was 100%, but, you know, I wasn't very impressed with how he fought that night. This show has been exhausting, not just because how much I'm coaching, but just dealing with Cody. You know, Cody's a, uh, yeah, he's you know, and then, and then the energy from Team Alpha Male is very exhausting as well. And so it's been... You know, there's really immature, and I've, I made the right choice. I moved on in my life, and I'm happy for it. You know, it was a tough thing when it went down and how it got a blow, kind of got, got blown up. I mean, fighters leave camps all the time, but for some reason this one wanted to be a big deal. But ultimately, I'm glad that I did it. This is going to be a big hyped-up fight, you know, and uh, after I win my belt, belt back, I'll make Cruz beg me to get a shot back again, you know. I mean, it'll be, it'll be a better story in the long run and maybe make a little bit more money off it. Cody should have no involvement in this at all, you know. I mean, he was... Coming in, I was on my way out for the most part. You know, I'm a, we're, we weren't ever friends. It wasn't like I did anything to dishonor him or whatever. And I think it's more Uriah pumping these guys up to continue to continue to push this trash and builds his team, which is money in his pocket. You know, I mean, every guy that fights for him pays him. So I think it's, I think it's him being the mastermind behind this whole thing. You know, Cody had a long conversation with Leister Bowling, the head coach at Elevation Fight Team. I mean, they got a big long text message about how. Cody wants to come out and start training with actual coaches, not fighters. And there was a big, long thing. And then as soon as he got put into the media that I'm a bad guy for leaving, he instantly flipped the script and had Uriah in his ear. So, you know, th there's a lot more truth to everything that goes down that, that's put into the media. He tries to act like, the, uh, I don't know, he has to choose which one to do. Either will be a nice guy or be a complete jerk, you know. And it's just like he's hot-headed. He's not, he's not smart enough to put some sentences together to try to tell you what you're doing. Rather, he'd just try to fight you. You know, and it, it gets aggravating and annoying, but just kind of keep your cool and uh, stay professional. You know, I'm a professional athlete. I got hired to do this job as a coach, and uh, I'm going to hold myself that way. You know, lead by example. All right, one more.